Israel accepts new ceasefire proposal as announced by U.S. President. The National Assembly's final working week phase one, questioning four issue groups. From today, four state-owned commercial banks sell gold directly to the public. Hello, so good to see you again in today's news. I am Huang Yan, and here we go, the first outline of the show. After two days avoiding an official response, on June 2nd, a senior Israeli government official disaffirmed that the country agrees with the new ceasefire proposal announced by U.S. President Joe Biden on May 31st. In an interview with the U.K.'s Sunday Times, senior advisor to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Ophir Falk emphasized that while the agreement is not perfect and many details still need to be clarified, Israel confirms that the proposal announced by the U.S. president is indeed the agreement that Israel has accepted. This is the first time Israel has confirmed that this ceasefire proposal is an agreement initiated by Israel. Previously, on May 31st, U.S. President Joe Biden announced a new three-phase proposal from Israel regarding a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip in exchange for the release of Israeli hostages. However, this Israeli official also declared that there would be no long-term ceasefire in Gaza until Israel achieves its stated goal of defeating Hamas, rescuing all hostages, and ensuring that Gaza no longer poses a threat to Israel. This week, the Vietnamese National Assembly continues its third working week, also the final one of the first phase of the seventh session, the 15th annual. The National Assembly was banned two days and a half focusing on questions in four fields, natural resources and environment, industry and trade, auditing and cultural sports and tourism. The questioning sessions on four groups of fields, natural resources and environment, industry and trade, auditing, and culture, sports, and tourism will take place from June 4 to 6. The questioning sessions are broadcast live on television and radio for voters and the public to follow. Additionally, during the working week, the National Assembly will also discuss several law projects and resolutions, including the law on the management and use of weapons, explosives, and supporting tools, amended the law amending and supplementing certain provisions of the law on guard force, the law on trade unions, amended, the law on prevention and combat of human trafficking, amended, the juvenile justice law, and the resolution on piloting the addition of certain specific mechanisms and policies for the development of gay and province. From today, June 3rd, the State Bank of Vietnam will sell gold to four state-owned commercial banks, Vietin Bank, Vietcom Bank, Agri Bank, and BIDB, so that these banks now can sell gold directly to the public. According to the information obtained, initially, these four banks will only select a few transaction offices or branches in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City to sell gold bars. The list of gold bar selling points and gold bar prices will be publicly announced on the official websites of the state-owned commercial banks for the public to follow. For the time being, gold bars will be only served for individual customers. Coming up are some updated news. China is exploring commercial opportunities in the airspace 1,000 meters above ground, referred to as the low-altitude economy. This may include flying taxis, also known as electric vertical takeoff and landing, EVTOL, aircraft, businesses using drones for delivery, light shows, or rapid emergency response services. Among them, the northern Chinese province of Shanxi is investing in purchasing flying taxis and supporting the development of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, as part of the government's efforts to promote the emerging industry and drive the province's economy. Other provinces including Zhejiang in the east have also announced plans to use funds from local government bonds and very long-term treasury bonds to build new infrastructure for both civil aviation and low-altitude flights. According to a representative of a mobile retail system, 
Apple has just requested its authorized dealers in Vietnam to stop selling iPhones and MacBook computers on the TikTok shop e-commerce platform. Business entity currently selling these products must remove them from the platform. As of the afternoon of May 31st, all iPhones and MacBooks had disappeared from the authorized dealers' stores on TikTok shop. The reason given is that these stores were selling iPhones and MacBooks on TikTok shop without Apple's written consent. The agreement signed specifies that authorized resellers, AAR, wishing to sell products on e-commerce platforms, must obtain permission from Apple. Although summer vacation has just begun, social media platforms are flooded with advertisements for skill enhancement courses. Many parents, desiring their children to enhance life skills, have fallen into the traps of scams, caught in the whirlwind of fake fan pages continuously receiving discount messages and high promotion course introductions. According to experts, scammers often employ sophisticated tactics to build trust with customers. To enhance credibility, these fraudulent courses advertise affiliations with government agencies such as the police, fire department, and military. Additionally, they exploit the fear of children falling behind their peers and the worry of parents about their children's academic performance. Now let's move to today's story. Supporting unemployed individuals to find jobs as soon as possible and helping business recruit high-quality candidates. These are the goals that the Nian Employment Service Center is striving to achieve in 2024. To facilitate the prompt return of unemployed individuals to the labor market, the GI and Employment Service Center places special emphasis on organizing job counseling and recruitment conferences like this. Through these, job seekers can directly meet with employers, have their salary-related concerns addressed, receive information from center staff about unemployment insurance policies, and receive job advice and connections. On the side of businesses, they also receive support in finding high-quality labor sources that meet their recruitment needs. Today I came here to find a job. Seeing that the company's facilities are insured, I also want to apply to work here. In the first five months of 2024, the Guian Employment Service Center has provided unemployment benefits to nearly 7,550 people, with a total payout of nearly 150 billion Vietnamese dongs, a decrease of 3.8% compared to the same period in 2023. The GI and Employment Service Center always identifies counseling and job guidance for unemployed workers as a top priority task throughout the process of handling unemployment benefits. Therefore, the center has utilized various forms of diverse and suitable counseling for workers, such as online counseling, counseling focused on Monday mornings at the GI and job exchange, and direct counseling like this. We create an environment for workers to access businesses based on the recruitment needs of those businesses. This helps workers reduce costs. Nearly 8,000 unemployed workers have been counseled by the GI and Employment Service Center, and over 570 people have been referred to jobs in the first five months of 2024, with the efforts and the active involvement of related sectors, as well as the awareness of employers and employees, unemployment insurance policies have been integrated into daily life, contributing to the successful fulfillment of employment targets and ensuring social security in the province. The last story descended our program today. Thank you so much for your attention. Goodbye and see you later.